All right, we will go ahead and get started here again. Uh, first off, thanks again for joining this 15-minute uh, Feature Friday or FMFF. My name is Jared Carter. I am part of the pre-sales team for Milestone in the Americas. And uh, today we're going to talk about Software Manager. And before we get started here, just let you know if you do have any questions, uh, feel free to type them in the questions pane within GoToMeeting. And when I get to the end of the webinar, uh, we'll go ahead and, and read through those questions and answer them. So what is Software Manager? What it is is basically a, a tool that Milestone provides that provides a centralized way of installing, uninstalling, and upgrade your various Milestone installations. Uh, it can be used in, in any type of installation, but uh, definitely more beneficial in larger installations with a large number of recording servers and such. Uh, I also put on here, it's one of our best kept secrets because this tool has been around for a very long time uh, and not a lot of people know about it. It's freely available on our website under our download section. Uh, if you just go under the, the type drop down list, there's an option for software manager. So it's right there on our website, uh, but a lot of people don't know about it and don't realize its usefulness. So we're gonna kind of go through a little bit more of what it is and then uh, we'll do a, a live demo of it in action. So what can you install and install upgrade? Uh, like I mentioned before, so you can uninstall C code recording server. C code would be uh, corporate, expert, uh, professional plus, and uh, uh, Express Plus as well. Although Express Plus is usually a single server installation, so not really applicable there, but definitely corporate, expert, and professional plus. You can do a full E code installation. E code would be uh, like enterprise, professional, or Express. You can do device packs for both code bases. You can do smart client, and you can also uh, do the, the, the M-series Huskies as well. What are your various options? Uh, we'll kind of go through these when we do the demo as well, but you can choose various things. Like I can choose to upload the installation packages and not install them right then, and then come back later and install them. This could be useful uh, in a scenario where maybe you have distributed recording servers and they're uh, the bandwidth to the recording servers is, is maybe lower bandwidth or maybe the pipe is shared with your whatever's going on with your business. And so you want to do it after hours. So you can come in after hours and say, push the installer out, knowing that it might take a few hours, maybe depending again on your bandwidth. And so it can push the installer out to all the sites. And then you can come back the next night or the next week or whenever and go through the process of then doing the install as well. And that can all be done from the tool. So you can upload without installing, you can uninstall the current installations, and then you can install the new software. Uh, you can do multiple pieces at a time or just one at a time. And when you're doing uh, uh, upgrading servers, you can choose to upgrade uh, say all your servers, you can choose to upgrade just a small selection. Uh, when upgrading, you can upgrade them all in parallel. So upgrade them all at the same time, or you can do it uh, one at a time as it just kind of works its way through the list. So there's lots of options. We'll kind of go through these in the demo that I'm going to show you. So this is the software manager uh, program. And here you can see in the upper left, I've got a Two, two options here in this tree. I've got the software library and the surveillance server. So if I go to software library first, all this is is a spot where you're telling the program that you have all the installers that you're gonna use. Uh, so for example, uh, it could be uh, the recording server installer or a smart client installer. And the way that works, if you wanna import it, I have nothing here right now. You can see in this uh, area below, it's all blank. So I can come in here and say import, I'm going to grab my recording server installer. And it's just going to do a quick uh, verification that it is the actual installer. And it'll import it into the system here. And there's my recording server installer there. If I want to import uh, something else, I can go back here and get back to my uh, smart client here. and import this in as well. And again, it's just going through verifying the signature saying, okay, yep, everything matches. So now I have my recording server and my smart client. Then I can go over to my surveillance servers. And this is where you add in the information. I've already added in my management server, my recording server. That's just done via these buttons up here where you're putting in, uh, I can show you here, you put in the address 
uh, and then your authentication. And then each system that you want to upgrade has to have a folder that's shared on there. And the user that you're running the software under needs read write permissions to that folder. Uh, so it's just something to keep in mind when setting this up. And each each uh, system, whether it's a recording server or if it's a client machine, you're going to throw the smart client on or something like that. You just got to make sure that there's a, a shared folder on there. So then from here, I can come in here and say, say I want to uh, upgrade my recording server. As you can see here, I don't have anything installed on the recording server right now. This top one is my management server. It's showing me everything installed there. My recording server has nothing installed. So this is a, a fresh machine here. So I just go into manage servers. I click next and it's asking me here, what packages do I want to upload to that machine? So I'm going to throw the recording server on there. I'm not going to put the smart client on there because it's a recording server. Uh, it asks me, what package do I want to uninstall? It's just giving me a list of what I have on here. I know this is a clean machine, so there's nothing to uninstall. So I would do don't uninstall now. And what do I want to install? Well, since I'm uploading the recording server, I'll choose to install the recording server. And down here below, if I had selected multiple servers, then the manage package option is where I could choose to do this in parallel or do this in sequence. So I'll go ahead and hit next. I'll accept the EULA. And here I get my options that I would get if I was installing my recording server uh, in the normal fashion. So it's saying, what type do I want to do? So I could also do a failover. The in installation path, uh, if you leave it blank, it's going to default to the standard one. What I want to call this recording server, call it that. What's the host name for the management server? So these are all, again, if you've installed our recording server before, these are all just standard questions within the recording server installer. And the rest of this, I will leave blank or default as this, but I could change the service account if I wanted to and various items like that. I'll go ahead and hit next. It's saying, all right, here's what we're going to do. Hit accept and hit next. And now I'm going to have a basic status here is it's showing me everything it's doing. And while it's doing this here, it'll, it'll take a minute or two. I'll tell you about a, a real life application where uh, I was involved in setting this up. And uh, we were at a system, it was a, uh, a school system where they had 55 recording servers distributed uh, throughout all the schools. We were there over summer, so uh, no school in session, so it was a great time to do an upgrade. And uh, the administrator had the idea of let's just try to do all of these in one shot. Let's see what happens if we try to upgrade 55 recording servers in one shot. So we went through this process using Software Manager, selected all 55 recording servers, told it to do it in parallel, pushed it out there. And uh, in the end, we had upgraded 55 recording servers in about 15 to 20 minutes, uh, which if you've ever done an upgrade, especially on a large system where you haven't used Software Manager, uh, you know that that's very, very quick. Doing that manually, even if you're doing multiple recording servers in conjunction, uh, would, would take a fair amount of time. So to have that completely done in 15 to 20 minutes uh, was, was very impressive. Uh, as you can see our status here, so it's finished installing and now it's rebooting the, uh, the recording server. And then when it comes back online here, I can actually go over and pull up our management server or our management client. And we'll be able to see in here, here we'll go back here. So then you get a report too. So if it fails, you have a, ideas of why it might have failed, but in this case, we have green check marks across the board. So we're good to go there. I log into the management client. Go over to my recording servers. There's my recording server right there. And it's up and running at this point in time. So now I've gone through, I pushed out my recording server installer. It's done the whole installation, rebooted the machine, and now it's online and ready for, for me to start adding cameras. Uh, so again, this could be done as I did where it was an initial install, so it wasn't even an existing where I was upgrading. I'm just doing the initial install and pushing out the recording server. Or I could go back through, and now that this system is actually up and running, you can see here that now it shows the recording server. It actually shows what software is on there. So I've got the device pack on there, the data collector service, and the recording server as well. So that's the end of the FMFF. Uh, 
as far as uh, my part, I hope that was helpful. If there are any questions, there's none that have been submitted so far. Uh, but if there are any questions, I'll wait a minute or so and see if, if any get added in. All right, it looks like there are no questions. If you do end up having questions later, uh, feel free. Oh, there is one right here. Uh, can software manager be run on any machine? Yes. So when you first open it up, uh, actually, let me double check that. I want to make sure I'm telling you correctly. When you first open it up, yeah, it can be run on any machine. This So this is asking the credentials, kind of default credentials. Uh, but then when you, I'll log back in here. When you come here to surveillance servers, this, this one with the plus sign is where you're pointed to basically your management server. So you don't have to be on the management server to run on. on. It can be run on any machine. Uh, second one is where do I download it? So on our website, if you go under support and download software, and then under product, come down here to software manager, and, and there's your link to, to download it from there. Uh, is there any cost associated with this? There's no cost. Uh, this is a completely free application. Uh, so it's uh, really no reason not to use it. Uh, what about a server that is not online and you try to install in parallel? So if you choose to, to try to install on a server that happens to be offline, uh, it'll, during the first part of it where it's trying to push it out, it's doing like a handshake with it and whatnot, and it'll fail at that point. Uh, that, that particular server will, will fail, but it'll continue doing doing the rest of the servers. You actually have uh, within the interface, for example, if my recording server was offline here, this would not be a, a green check here. It would be uh, uh, some other symbol with a message indicating uh, you know, something to the effect if it's offline. Uh, how many servers can be upgraded at the same time? Uh, there's no uh, set limitation within the software. Uh, like I said, I did the one system where we had 55 recording servers. Uh, I don't. I haven't personally heard of, of larger systems, uh, but again, this tool doesn't get utilized a lot because not a lot of people know it exists. Uh, so I'm, I'm not sure how large of a system uh, has been done as far as doing it all in parallel. Uh, but I, I do know of the 55 recording server system. Do we have KB articles on how to use it? I am not sure off the top of my head on that question, but we do have a manual uh, that explains how to use it, and it's it is. Fairly, fairly straightforward to use, and the documentation in the manual is very good. What about older software version? Is the 2019 version of Software Manager backwards compatible? Yes, it is. So this is not just limited to installing the version of the Software Manager. You can load in older packages as well. So if you have uh, various systems out there that are running different versions, uh, which could definitely be the case more on a on an e-code system, an enterprise professional type system, uh, then yes, you can load uh, different versions within here. Will it recognize each software in the full corporate installed download? Uh, it will not. So you're not loading, when you're loading in the software library, uh, you won't be loading in the, the full corporate installation. You're loading in the individual uh, executables, which you can get through the, the internal website uh, within corporate. For example, uh, anytime a corporate or expert or professional plus is installed on a system, it creates a web page, which is just uh, the IP address or host name of the management server slash installation slash admin. And then here's your recording server installer, your which is really your main one. Uh, the device pack installer you can get off of our website. Uh, if you don't put admin at the end of this, you can get the smart client installer. Or there's, if you know where everything's located on disk, you can manually navigate to there as well. Uh, but you can get it through this website for the recording server installer, device pack, and smart client. Uh, you can get off of our website. All right, any other questions? All right, I don't see any more coming in. So again, if you do end up having more questions on this, uh, feel free to reach out to uh, any of us in pre-sales. Uh, if you don't have any of our direct contact information, you can send an email to presalesus at milestone.us. That's our, our shared email address. And one of us will be able to get in contact with you as well if you have, again, any, any questions that you didn't think of uh, during this presentation. 
Uh, so that's the end of this 15-minute Feature Friday. Again, thank you very much for your time, and I hope you all have a great weekend.